the night. I'm gonna watch the beer. Beer is better. Gonna put the beer on channel 29. Well, hurry up, baby. Gonna have a nice time. We're going down to Bongo Corral tonight. Live music is bad. Live music is bad. Bongo Corral is a mighty friendly place. Everybody here knows everybody's face. As far as TV goes, it's gotta be the best. Kick up the couch and give you a few to rest. We're going down to Bongo Corral tonight. Well, you don't need a suit and you don't need a tie. Take off your shoes if you like it like that. Get a bottle of whiskey and a half a rack of brew. It's a sure way well, we just to lose life. your blues. Ah, going down to Bongo Corral Bongo Corral tonight. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. We're going down to Bongo Corral tonight. Yeah. Bongo Corral. Bongo Corral. Bongo Corral. Why music is better? We're going down to. Going down to. September and I guess uh, summer is officially over. Uh, anyway, this month we're going to go to a special place. We're going to go to the Living Museum of Letterpress Printing. Sorry, there's a bus right behind us. But uh, museum, it's on uh, pretty much Kitty Corner on 2nd and Virginia, a place you probably never heard of or even knew about. So thought we'd like to show it to you. And uh, we're going to go in this way. Yo, Geronimo! Come on in, we're gonna put you on television. You on the air? Come on in. It's just a little bit of the way. Come on over. Hi Kenny. Hi. Always good, good to see you. Um, this here is Geronimo Squire. Squires. And he's gonna be our host for the evening, taking us around this his uh, shop. We'll give you a little insight to it when we all come back. So right now we're gonna take it to Studio B for the seven year bitch. And then we're gonna come back here.
offset printing kind of becoming popular in about 1939-1940, quicker methods displaced a lot of what uh, letterpress is all about. And then with the advent of quick printing in the 60s and 70s, most letterpress printing was uh, changed around to just doing numbering, perforation, etc. So our whole idea is to keep all the equipment alive, keep the skills alive. A lot of people still know how to use it and want to give them a place to do that. So That's why we're here. You mean so other people who know about old printing can come in and, and use yes. this material? Right. Okay. Now, how did you get into the old printing? Uh, I started in junior high school, actually. Uh, they offered what was called industrial arts. Ah. They give you uh, 10 weeks of wood shop, metal shop, electric, auto printing, etc. And we never got printing. Never got past printing, actually. Yeah, I loved it. We just had the metal and wood shop. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you say you get things here from, like, what's the oldest piece? How old is the oldest piece we've been here? Um, 1887 is the oldest piece we have. And you still use that? Uh, that one in particular is being restored right now. Oh. Um, the oldest one we have that's in use is, eight, is 1890. And that's the treadle press we'll be demonstrating later on. Uh, okay. Um, we'd like to, I don't know, now what's this here? This is just a, it's called a proof press. This is a proof press. And these are used once your type is set and ready uh, for press. We pull it and then proof your work. It's actually the true term is called a proving press. It's proving that your work is correct. So you uh, take a little ink sprayer here. And this is our type. Pick it up. And we'll like this. And this just rolls over and by the weight of it causes an impression. A little bit of shameless self-promotion here. <laughs> now, I'm really intrigued with this thing right back here. Let's... The linotype. Okay. Now we're going to go to the linotype. A little more shameless. Yeah, more shameless self-promotion. That's okay. a thing where only public actors can get a linotype. That's right. Now, what is this? This is a typecasting machine. It actually casts lead, uh, lead lines for printing. The, the pieces of lead you just saw on the proof press were cast on this machine. So does this have like a lead press or? Like, well, in the, in the back here, there's a, a molten lead pot kept at 535 degrees. And when the, uh, these are called mats, short for matrix. When these are assembled in the proper uh, order you want them in, the molten lead is injected by a, a plunger situation, and then it creates the line which you print from. I'll want me to demonstrate real quick. Yeah, and also, um, what is like year-wise this? This, puppy? this is, was uh, developed originally in 1885, perfected in that, and this one in particular was made in 1920, so it's 71 and still going. <laughs> Like a all older than all of us put together. Virtually. <laughs> so, Shall we? Yeah. Let's... Okay. Ah, uh, let's see. We'll set. How about if we said welcome to the museum. Okay, we've set. Out there. Okay, the, the, lead, uh, the letters have been, you can see, aligned here where we need them, and then we'll send them up into the caster right now, and from there on, it's all automatic. Okay, let's get this puppy going. We've got 30 seconds left. Okay, the lead's being injected right now. Follow down here. We'll see it come out. There's our line right there. Like I said, that was 550 degrees, now it's only about 150. <laughs> that's only Molly searing his hands. Okay, well, that's that thing. Pretty okay, cool. that's this thing, yeah. Neato! Okay, so we'll be back in just a little bit, but to go back to a group and all that, we got back in the Studio B, the Crows. Not the Black Crows, but the Crows. Go look in the Chris. Ain't talking about no rice, ain't talking about no beans, ain't talking. 
talk about no dried on jelly. Ain't talk about no 49 de Soto. Ain't talk about, yeah, well, that's the way it goes. Dig it. The graveyard was full Full of the mold and the cave in They say the last thing that you see is the line Hey, hey, man, up, man It's how they talk about the head of no horse They talk about communism, no, of course I'm not talking about no Give 
took over from letterpress, although you're a lot more sophisticated than that now. These are the old, uh, okay, he's getting that old multi. Jim, what's that? That's a multi too. That one is older than this one. You can tell by the handles here. Okay, what are, what are age? Okay. Well, that one I think is from the 40s, and this one's probably from the 60s. This thing? Press. Yeah, that's called a platinum press. It's from, oh, probably the 30s, 40s. Probably the 30s, though. <laughs> I'm really sure. Same with this one, same basic age for this one. That's gay. The master printer of the shop. <laughs> Isn't sure you're lovely. <laughs> Nice and thick, but watch it. We'll put it on the press here, a little bit. Then we'll send the wheel going. This, tre uh, this is a treadle press. This is the one from 1890 I was telling you about. Use this press every day. The roller will uh, spread the ink out. Ooh. Chase. Can you read that? Yeah. 29 or BC. 29 BC. Okay, we'll put it in here. You might want to bring that up in here and get a, a view. We're gonna see the rollers go across the type here. Close it up. BC. Okay. There we go. This we will. This is going to be your card for 29 BC. Yeah. 
What's that mean? Channel 29, Bongo Corral. Oh, I see. I'll, I'm gonna I'll, I'll put the word channel and then Bongo Corral here. Then over print. Or I may print on the back. We'll get to you. <laughs> I think of everything. That's Let's have as much stuff as possible. <laughs> on the front? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well. What he's doing? Italy really. Cleaning off the form, yeah. Well, as long as she's shooting, there's no seeing what that is. Wood type. Those Made out of wood, wood yeah. Oh. The lead type would be too heavy at that weight, at that oh. size. put down the second color so we have to change the type and everything. These are the linotype slugs that we had set on the machine, right? Yeah. So, we'll lock this up. Nietzsche. And? and hopefully you've got it in the middle so you don't have to change the pins on this. Very good, very good to have a printer. <laughs> He's exactly right. <laughs> Soon, no. He just wanted to get on. Watch. How much am I getting for this? <laughs> Beer. Just kidding. No. I know that I'm glad to donate this because it's such a worthwhile cause. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely get that one in. <laughs> you like that? We'll watch. Yes. We'll watch. We'll watch. We'll watch. Studio B for Atomic 61. Yes, he did it. He got it.
Tom at 61. This one's called uh, Deluxe Snooze Bar Alarm. Yeah, I don't wanna hear a gentleman's 
Virginia, downtown Seattle. Give us a call. Come on down. You can come down and see this stop. Show you around. And they'll do it too. Thanks. And they'll show you how to print things.